Al Halalium Lai Hauba Hashem Yahushai Bahashem Lukha Kodash, which is ancient clearly he before all praise, all praises to Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father's own name, who the world ignorantly calls John, Jehovah, etc. In the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, etc. In the name of the Holy Spirit, Rukha Kodash, all right? Double honors to the apostles and elders of breaking the stone. Salutations to the sincere Akim, Akwatim, that is, you know, obeying these scriptures and doing it with diligence and faith and sincerity and truth, all right? Um, now this lesson has been on my mind for a week and change and so forth, and it's really comforting. You know, that spirit, you know, came for me to, 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 to understand what Yahweh Hashem is doing, or, or is always doing, I should say. Slap it. All right. So, I pray that this lesson is ready. I pray that this lesson is ready. Fine. Let's get right into it. And this lesson is called Abba knows best. All right. Abba being the Hebrew word for father, and he knows best. He knows, you know why things are ordained they're, they're, the way they are. He knows why he chose Israel, the so-called Negroes, Amerindians, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans, all those other by words he call us, and also the confusion of faces, which are Israelites that look like the other nations, the so-called Caucasians, Chinese, etc. Right? He knows why he ordained them to be, be the kingdom of priests, to be judges of the earth, to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, he knows why he ordained them to, to do so. In his infinite wisdom, he saw it best for it to play out exactly the way it's playing out right now. Right? So Abba knows best. He knows best. So like the scripture says, your ways are not my ways. It's like you neither are your thoughts my thoughts. This is Matthew chapter 5, verse 4 or 5. That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh the sun to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. So, what Esau calls an ecosystem, you know, Yahweh ordained this world, everything that he created to be within ordinances, within rules and, and an order, but the wicked, that's ruling the earth right now, it says so in Job 9 and 24, he wants to throw things out of order, you know, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, if not where and who are we, he covered the faces of the judges, you know, so everything is all, is all for Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, best interest, because this is all about him, it's not about us. Right, and the rest of the world will soon learn that. All right, this is uh, Matthew 6 and verse 25. So let's take it to like um, a little deeper. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? So, you know, our life is more important than these things, you know, that's how Bashim Yahweh I seek for. He is the God of the living and not the God of the dead. So we don't have to think about these, these things, or we shouldn't think about it. Israelites especially, because we know our Creator. We know the Creator. Because there's only one Creator. This is verse 6, verse 26. But the, behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth feed them. Are ye not much more better than they? So we being better than the animals, Yahweh Shai you know, created a system that, that that flourished with bountiful bountiful food for them, so to speak. Because, you know, we don't we don't set food for them. We don't have to do anything. They are self self sustaining. If you go in the jungle the jungle is flourishing its own thing, but the ecosystem is dying because you know, the, or, or 
the creation groaneth, I should say, as the scriptures say, because he saw his poison in the air, the water, and everything else. And he's trying to throw everything out of course. But Abba knows best. Abba, Abba gave Esau his chance, his blessing, and he's going to live it out. And then he's going to punish for the things that he did. You know? Just hardcore slavery and then annihilation. This is um, verse 32. For all these things do the Gentiles seek. All right? And those these Gentiles are talking about the heathens. All right, there's two sets of Gentiles in the scriptures. Just to put that out there. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all things, of all these things. So I will know everything what every man need, and he giveth every man according to his work. Right? Let me get that real quick. I think it's in Revelation. Now let's see. Yeah, Revelation chapter 22 and verse 12. And behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. All right. So let's go to uh, Job, verse 8 and verse 3. Slacky, chapter 8 and verse 3. Doth the Mosai pervert judgment or doth the Almighty pervert justice? So the Mosai does not, it's not unfair. He's not unfair. Whatever you sow, that's what you reap. All right? And how about Hashem Yahushai see it fit to wake us up in these times, to make brothers follow the truth, to make to make our women disorderly, acting like whores, acting like men, acting like if they know, they know all the answers to, to the same. Um, Yahweh does not pervert judgment. So everything is going to line up according to his will, right? This is uh, Job chapter 8, verse 20. Behold, Yahweh will not cast away a perfect man, neither will he help evildoers. So Yahweh knows, knows, knows it best that if he help an evildoer, he will just spit in his face. Um, hypothetically, you know, not literally. But that's what they did unto his son, you know. That's what they did unto his son. So it's like if they do it to the do it to the father, all right? And you know they're gonna punish dearly for that, all right? Now this precept is one of my favorites, all right? And um, you know I always try to meditate and every time I'm going through affliction to remember. And these are like these are like foundation or legendary precepts, as I call it, that that help us endure and help us to remain focused in this truth you know i pray that you know brothers will continue to meditate on precepts like these and continue to share other precepts that that would that would um motivate brothers to understand that abba knows best this is job 11 verse 6 that he would show thee the secrets of wisdom that they are double to that which is so he showed the secrets of wisdom so Israel, and now we're showing it to the elect because the entire Israel has not obtained it, but the elect has, according to Romans, right? All right, and the this wisdom is double to what we think it is. Meaning that sometimes a brother might get a revelation to the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai Hashem Rakak Radash, and as experience grows and so forth, and you know, he thinks back or meditates again. On that revelation, it gets deeper. You know, even um, Malak Dawada, King David, says, um, I have seen the end of perfection, but thy precept is exceedingly broad. All right, roughly paraphrasing. So, um, let's see. Let me finish up here, right? It says, Know therefore that Yahweh. Exacteth of thee less than less than thine iniquity deserves. So you have exact less than we deserve. All right. So those foolish Christians that think that there's a fiery pit of hell burning forever, if that's less than what we deserve, I wouldn't like to think what's worth. I mean, there's what you can do worse things than hell, you know. You know, that's how I see it through the spirit. You can do worse things than a fiery pit of hell. 
and we're gonna see we're gonna we're gonna see the tormentas all right the torment that y'all is gonna put you put put the wicked man through of this world that you know that men of GMS and the other sincere men out there and women as well attain mercy right uh, let's go to uh, let's see oh yeah this is a classic first Corinthians 10 verse 13 there hath no temptation taken you but such as is common to man so the temptation that we experience the afflictions the, the punishment the um, infirmities is common to man he's not going to give you some outer world shit that's going to break you all right that's like those wicked ass jay who sent send one of the brethren to um to hustle their wives or whatever to see if they would cheat you how is not going to do that all right He's bigger than that. Um, but Yahweh is faithful. He's trustworthy and he's loyal. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So he won't give you more than you can bear. All right? Like the scripture says, he gives you less than you deserve. And it's not more than you can bear. All right? It says, um, But will with temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. So he's going to make... He's going to make a way for us to escape that we may be able to bear it, bear whatever we're going through, you know. Um, I'm going to save that one for us. Let's go back to Job chapter 1. This is a classic. Job chapter 1, verse 20. We're going to read from 20 to set the, uh, to set the tone. Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head. And fell down upon the ground and worshipped, right, and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. Yahweh gave, and Yahweh hath taken away. Blessed be the name of Yahweh. Job had this understand, that's why the apostles and elders of great millstone say it through the spirit, or teach through the spirit that we come in the spirit of Job. Ayawab, which means persecuted and hated. Right, so he had the understanding that Yahweh knows best, so he takes away things that would affect us negatively, and he gave us things that would affect us positively, and vice versa as well. In his infinite wisdom, he he knows a combination of he knows every single combination by heart and by spirit because he created all things and he's all things. Right, and brother got brothers gotta keep thinking that Abba knows best. So if there's a woman. And the most I took away from you, if there's a job that you that you wanted and you didn't get it, if there's um, a spot that you wanted to preach at and you didn't get it, you know, there's a preacher that you want to bring out, and you didn't get it, you know, Abba knows best. You know, everything is ordained according to Abba Nawi Yahweh and Yahushai will, and this um. Like I was watching Infinity War, Avengers Infinity War, and Doctor Strange, the Warlock, he um, he had the time stone. So a hey, spoiler alert for brothers who didn't, didn't see that movie here yet, right? Um, but anyway, he calculated every single scenario. So you how about Shino Shai has calculated every single scenario whereby um, he see fitted for it to play out this way. You know, and he wrote it down in these in these beautiful words, man. I love this. I love the word of Yahweh, you know, Shai. You know, anyway, this is a preacher that been that's been resonating for months now, and it's very comforting. All right, this is Romans eight, verse twenty eight, um, and we know that all things work together for the good. All things work together for the good. To them that love Yahweh, to them that are called according to His purpose, all things work together for the good. All right. So, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has, has ordained everything to work out for the good for His elect. That's something. All things, every step you make, every breath you take, 
every every preset you bring out, every struggle you 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 fall and get up and he picks you back. All right, this is ordained for the good. So let's get this preset here real quick. Not one of those. And this is preset that you know, we bring out, but in, in the context of this lesson, that's uh that's how that's how the spirit led me to bring it out. All right. This is um, uh, Sirach 22 and verse 6. A tale out of season is as music in, in mourning, but stripes and correction of wisdom are never out of time. It's luck here. Yeah. Stripes and correction of wisdom is never out of time. It's never going to come late. It's never going to come early. It's in the exact time. That, and that being said, there's no such thing as coincidence. Esau come up with that dumbass word. There's no such thing as coincidence. There's no such thing as randomization. Everything happens for a reason. Everything is aligned according to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai Ratazah, which is Hebrew for will. All right. So, um, let me get this last precept and close out. Um, Got to head on the plantation, you know. Soon we out of here, bro. Soon we out of here, Akim. Just remember, Abba knows best, you know. Uh, and I have been going through, going through um, you know, some affliction and trying not to complain, but trying to you know, seek help by Shem Yom Shai more and understand what he's trying to, what he's trying to show me, what he's purging me from, you know, you gotta pay attention, you gotta pay attention to when Yahweh Shem Yom Shai talks to you or showing you signs and so forth. This is uh, Psalms 37, verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by Yahweh. He delighted in his way. So the steps of a man, the steps of a good man is ordered by Yahweh. And what makes you good? The law, statutes, and commandments according to Romans chapter 7, right? That's what makes you a good man. Once you're doing the good, once you're doing the things of this book, Yahweh Hashem Yoshai is going to order your steps gonna make sure that you don't go down a road where you might get robbed you don't go down a road where a woman might, might make you follow the truth everything is is in his hands you know hoping i hope i don't sound redundant but this is something this is something that we really should think about all right that abba knows best all right verse 24 though he fall he shall not be utterly cast down for yahweh upholdeth him with his hand so though you though you fall, Yahweh yeah, know that it's like you know a kid riding his bicycle and he falls and Abanao Yahweh yeah, just picks him up, dusts him off, put a band aid if he bruises or whatever. And then band aid will be scriptures, right? So we need the herb memory if I'm plastic that brought them back to help with thy word. Right. That's the paraphrase in the wisdom Solomon precept. Verse 25, I have been young and now I'm old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken. Or his seed, nor his seed begging for bread, so the righteous will never be sa never be forsaken, nor his seed beg, nor his children, or his bloodline begging for bread. Right, and there will come a time in, in the famine, when um, when there will be famine all over the world, when the elect will be eaten well. Yahweh and Yahshua is out. And we're blessed in that we were blessed to be of that number, you know. All right, and with that, I pray that this lesson was that he was that he find. If the Wadi Alba Shem Yoshai for putting the spirit on me for put for do this lesson, you know, to exhort brothers. And um you know, I'll praise the Alba Shem Yoshai Bah Shem Rakakwatash double honest be a fossil and all the greatness alone. Salutation to the sincere Akim Shalom Brakatam.